We're trying out a new camera angle today as so I show you how to make this fabulous homemade nacho cheese sauce using only real food ingredients. I got this recipe from cooklikeyourgrandmother.com and of course I changed it up as I always do, but mostly it's just such an amazing recipe that I had to share it. I've started by melting one and a half tablespoons of butter, and actually the tablespoons aren't ma marked on the current packages of butter that I have, so it might be closer to two tablespoons, but close enough. And to this, I'm adding a tablespoon of cornstarch. I like to use organic cornstarch, that way I know for sure that there are no GMOs in the cornstarch. <laughs> oh, you get to see how messy I really am when I cook. All right, cornstarch. Half a cup of milk, and we're gonna whisk this all together. I've got this on a medium heat. I may need to turn it down pretty shortly here, though. If you see lumps, that's actually because my milk is just on the brink of turning sour. And to this, I'm adding an ounce of cream cheese. Once again, my amounts are kind of loose. This is probably a little more than an ounce. It's just the end of the package that I had. I'm breaking that up into pieces a little bit so that it melts in there pretty easily. This is one of those recipes that I discovered and I was just amazed because if you serve this at a holiday party, you can probably convince people that it is store-bought nacho cheese. If you have an old jar especially you could put it into, no one would suspect that it was actually homemade. Yeah, that definitely needs to be turned down a little bit. It doesn't really need to be boiling right now. And once it's all smooth and the cream cheese is melted in, then we add the cheese. I'm using a heaping cup of mild pre-shredded cheddar cheese. Uh, in the original recipe, he says the pre-shredded stuff does not melt in properly, but I've never had a problem with it. And then you just whisk until the cheese melts in really nicely. And then you add a dash of whatever you want to spice it up a little bit. Uh, the original recipe calls for hot sauce and paprika. I usually just use a sprinkle of cayenne um, or sometimes a dash of hot sauce. It depends on whether I want a little bit of vinegar flavor in there or not. You can also add a little bit of chili powder just depending on the exact type of nacho flavor that you're going for. You see how amazingly gooey and creamy this stuff is? It's just fabulous. And I really don't want mine to actually be spicy. I just want enough of a background flavor to give that nacho cheese impression. And there you have it, in less than 10 minutes, super easy, super amazing nacho cheese sauce. Perfect for Christmas time or any time that you have tortilla chips in the house.